We are so honored now to welcome Peter Marks. Peter Marks has been featured in the Huffington Post and written up in uh, by the famed journalist Marcos Patata Toes. <laughs> Excuse me. I provide he provides unique consultations that cover an individual's soul path and provide an ultimate understanding of your purpose and fulfillment in life. We're moving this over now to Mr. Peter Marks. Welcome to the stage. Thank you. Uh, delighted to be here. It's a wonderful stage. Uh, group is everybody that I've spoken to today has been absolutely amazing. Uh, do, does the audience have any questions concerning uh, readings or planets or how astrology works? Uh, I'm more than uh, happy to answer the questions. Um, I've been privileged enough. Uh, to be written up in the Huffington Post. And um, I've been privileged enough to be uh, featured uh, by world famous power journalist, Marcos Papadopoulos, who has interviewed uh, the most famous people in the world, including uh, people like the um, Doobie Brothers, Stevie Nicks, um, I think Barbara Streisand, um, there's a waiting list for people to be interviewed by him, but uh, most importantly, I'm here to answer whatever questions you may have astrologically about your chart. And the one person that I was trying to set up the chart for was you, Joan. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Are That's you okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, dear? I'm doing good. Sorry. I'm Joan Francis. <laughs> Joan Francis. I'm sorry for that. Joan <laughs> Francis. Um, did, uh, where were you born? Here? I was born in Blantyre. Blantyre, Scotland. Oh, it's, that's right. In Scotland. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. I it's, said it's, that I'm very excited about <laughs> actually seeing... What is your date of birth again? The 30th of March, 1958. I was 30th born of March, 1958? Yes, yes. I was born in the same town as David Livingston, the great explorer. Oh, all right. Which time was that? Blantyre. He was oh, born in Blantyre. And what time, sweet? Uh, what time? Oh, he, oh, my time? Oh, yes. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I think I was born around about 10, it was either 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. Ah. Oh, 10 a.m.? Ah. All 10 right. 10 a.m. All right. Let me see. I'm going to set your chart up. I've been very excited about this, and I was hoping oh. that you would join us. Because I wanted to see exactly, oh my, you have my, you absolutely have an amazing chart. I've had my chart done before, not with you, but with somebody else. So well, I let me tell you, you have like an octagon in your chart. Mm -hmm. and what that means is all the planets in your chart, it's rare, all the yeah. planets it's in your chart are actually wow. connected, mm -hmm. which gives you, let me say this, you channel from another dimension all that wonderful energy that you have. And you were a prophet and a guide in many, many other lifetimes. And yeah. you are bringing forth into this life so much of your wisdom from many galaxies and many, uh, what are they telling me? Many different uh, planets, including, are you familiar with Pleiades? I think it's called Pleiades. Well, I've hit, uh, yes, uh-huh, yes. All right, now, they're also showing me here that you, the energy that you are bringing in has to do and the knowledge is from so many different levels that I'm surprised you're able to remember or to absorb it all in this life. Mm -hmm. I have what I would term as a gift of um, clear cognizance. So it's as though 
I don't have to read anything. I just know it. You but just know channeled. it. It's channeled. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? If yes. someone asks me a question, then I'm able to answer it. But yet, I have never read on the subject. You've never read it. Well, you have. Do you know who Edgar Casey is? I've heard of him. I've heard of You've him. You've heard of him. Edgar yeah. Casey was called the Sleeping Prophet. Mm hmm. And he was actually, he had no medical background at all. He was a very mm -hmm. educated soul in mm -hmm. orthodox education. But when he went into a trance, he was able to channel all of the information from the, if I pronounce this correctly, the Akashic records. Oh, the Akashic, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And for many, many years, doctors and other health professionals consulted with him because his information was coming from the etheric world. Well, mm -hmm. on your chart that I'm looking at here, you have Mars, you have Venus in Aquarius, your Mercury is in Aries. With this, this is going to make you... So um, the guys are saying to me, the energy is so intense for you that all you have to do is really close your, your eyelids and just absorb everything that comes to you. Yeah. That's kind of a what I do. <laughs> Was that? I'm saying that's kind of a what I do. I just let it flow. I just You just let it flow. Now, answer a question for me, because I'm also noticing here that um, they are talking to me about a book. They're saying to me a book or putting together a book. I'm and, just finishing writing a book just now. Oh, that, that's what they're talking about. I've, I've, I've been off and on writing it for a while, and then I put it to the side because of different things and then I've, I've actually just brought it back out again just literally last week and I said this needs to go I have a publisher for it oh you do have a publisher well, in, in Scotland or in the United States uh, it's with Baboa Press the Hay House so the it's a division in, in the U I think it's a division in the U.S. that I'm with. All right, because if you didn't, I have two books that are coming out myself that wow. just been edited. They're going to be on. The, I have one book on Amazon already, but there's two other books coming. But your book is going to do amazingly well. Mm -hmm. I want to just say well, financially. I have, two, I have two other books. Oh, you have two other books. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have two others as well. So. Well, you are, it, it, what I want to say, coming from the world, and I tend to expand my consciousness when I speak to other practitioners, I could learn so much from you and from your background. Yeah. Your eyes are saying to me that people are in awe of your ability to really connect with their soul. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, means a lot. Yeah. yeah so you you you're really, going to make me cry. <laughs> what's that? You're going to make me cry. All right, it's okay <laughs> if you cry. That's okay. <laughs> I just wanted to. Uh, did you have any questions <laughs> about? Uh, hello, how are you? Uh, did you have any questions? Wow, you've you've said so much, and uh, it actually ties in with what. I have been given myself, even the connection here today, yes. uh, I, I believe has been divined passageway. So is that because I was told that I had to go out into a bigger platform. And the next thing I knew, I was on an expo two weeks ago with Mark Becker. And oh, yes, I know who Mark Becker is. And then I came up, Cherry had me on here and Cherry's helped me over the past two weeks. And I just feel now, I feel as if I'm moving in that direction. So you're moving in that direction. Well, I we meet, gonna... meeting people like yourself today um, and meeting, you know, other people. It's, it's, yeah, it's kind of a, 
mind-boggling and breathtaking at the same time. It is mind-boggling, and it is. Well, I didn't, I, I can't, I don't want, I, I wanted to focus on you. I'm looking at other people, to do, but you were very blessed in your gifts and as a spiritual being, and we will connect, we will get to know each other better. Oh, thank you. I'd love that. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Yes. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Yes. So. Very gifted. Very gifted. What's that? You're very gifted. Oh, I had thank my, you. I had my chat done about, oh, 30 years ago. And literally, I remember the person talking about, you know, the, the way my chat was laid out. And he said then, and, and of course, you just carry on, don't you? And but now you're saying it again. So, yeah, I'll take it on board. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you, darling. Thank you. Namaste. <laughs> Who thank else you. would like me to tune in to? Uh, Donna? Yes. Hi. How are you, darling? Good. Namaste. Thank you. All right, Donna, what, what city were you born in? I was born in uh, Alberta, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Oh, I have a lot of Canadians. My, wow, that's wonderful. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay. It's a hard, difficult way today, and I will get to everybody. And what is your um, what is your date of birth? Uh, June twentieth, nineteen sixty-two. June twentieth, nineteen sixty-two. One moment. And what time were you born? Uh, 11.24 a.m. 11.24 a.m. And this may take a little longer because my computer is down. Okay. Um, boy, you have a mixture of energy in you. You have a mixture. And your greatest asset, it looks like here. Now, you love to communicate, correct? Yes, I'm working on being a better communicator, though. All right. Why? What is the problem with you communicating? Uh, to deal with the emotions, you know, trying to um, get in touch with my feelings and express myself through truth to my heart and not my mind. Okay, very good. Now, I also want to say to you, there is a very sensitive part of you, which I do pick up. You like logic. You like logic, you like mundane, you don't always like being out of control, am I right? I'm out of control all the time, <laughs> but oh. yes, it's getting the better of me where I need It's yeah, getting I the better to... of you, okay, because my guides are saying to me, you want to be more organized. You want yes. more in control, you don't want your emotions to take over, you want to be able to analyze everything and put it, everything in its proper category. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to ask you this because you're on a you're on a venture now of spiritual awareness. You're yes. going through a spiritual epiphany right now. Are you aware of that? Uh, yes. Okay. I also am going to say to you, and this isn't negative. You like to be in charge as much as you can. You like to be in charge, and you don't always like people getting too close. There's a part of you that you want your privacy, and you don't like to be violated, and you don't like people getting too close too soon. Uh, I see that, yes. You see that? Okay, now let me also ask you this. You have a drive here, so what are you doing with all this wonderful energy? Are you doing something in business? Do you want to do something in business? Yeah, I'm just um, just relocated. And now with COVID, I, I've been in the restaurant industry my whole life. And I'm an artist. So I'm trying to dedicate myself to more, um, you know, making my art and trying to see if I could be successful that way. Okay. Have you had showings? I've always uh, sold things throughout my whole life without trying. All right, because in you were actually born, you were blessed with wonderful energy that is going to, people gravitate towards you. 
They love your energy. They love your, I want to say your philosophies. They love talking to you. And you're also, I'm going to ask you this. At times you find yourself getting bored with mundane things. You need to be challenged. Yes. Okay. So are you heading in another direction right now? Because they're telling me a whole new world is opening up for you. I see that. I've been working hard towards uh, just healing, healing yes. my past so I can move forward in my future in, okay. and being in the present. In being in the present. Do you do anything around the voice? Uh, n- uh, n- I need a lot of healing work around here, just um, I think. All right, because they're showing me the throat and they're saying to me about from the head to the throat, you go through healing. You also know how to talk. And when you speak, your voice is very healing. Mm. When, when I'm not, yes, when I'm grounded. and <laughs> When you're grounded. Yeah. Well, you're coming into more of a period where you will be grounded. Um, I, I'm also going to say they're showing me your artwork being shown and they're saying to me, don't give up your dream because I feel you have a dream. I'm starting to build a dream of having an installation and, and yeah, a big installation. Yeah. Okay. Are you connected with other, I see the press around you. Have you been written up as yet? Uh, no, I've been in shows just a couple of times throughout my life. Nothing big, just group shows and one independent show like 30 years ago. Okay. Well, you're coming into a really wonderful period. They are showing me somebody doing a story about you and your background. Mm, I like that. Yes. So do you have any questions for myself or the guides? Because I also channel with my guides. Ooh. um, I get, I don't know. I, I like, when people tell me, I have a hard time coming up with questions. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, they're talking to me also about, they're saying to me this year, there's going to be a change with your, your creativity. You're going to be seeking out other outlets. You are going to be noticed. And they're also talking to me. I don't know why, but they're saying something about venues and audiences. So this, I think, has to do with the artwork. Okay. So are you reaching out to uh, people right now in order to show? No, I'm, I'm having to um, create work. I'm trying to uh, maybe get a grant. So I'm trying to collect, get a, you know, um, a few pieces together other in a, a solid thought form about what I want to create and, you know, connecting to consciousness and what's happening in the world and trying to have conscious art, you know, so, um, and thinking about trying to get a grant. Do they see a grant coming my they way? They feel there's a grant coming and they're saying to me, work with somebody else with the grant. Yes. They said there is a grant coming up. And work with somebody else, maybe? They're saying in partnership, oh, okay. in partnership. Yeah. All right, I'm going to, unfortunately, they don't give me a lot of time. Is it Tanzina? Okay. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you so much, Mark. Yeah, actually, do me uh, uh, namaste. Actually, can, if you can hold off just a minute. Storm's been here for a while, and I, I recognize that. I'm sorry you've waited so long, and then I will give you a reading. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. All right, so, um, oh, okay, where are we here? All right, all right, all right, I guess we'll go that way. I'll save you, is that okay for, at the? Uh, okay, Swam, are you doing okay? Uh, who are you gonna do first? All right, I can do you and then uh, attend Zena. I love your name, dear. All right, uh, please give me, all right, I have your first name. And if you would, please give me your, where you were you born? Hanover, New Hampshire. Oh, okay, very good. I love New Hampshire. And what is your date of birth? 9, 1856. 
1856. Do you happen to know your time? Uh, sometime after 6 p.m. 6 o'clock p.m. Got it. All right. Let's see what God has given you as gifts, and I'm sure they are plentiful. Okay, for you. Um, wow, you also have a wonderful, wonderful chart here. Um, they keep on saying to me, okay, they are showing me balance. They keep on saying balance. Everything in your life has to be balanced. If it isn't, it knocks you off your your, your, your chair. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Is there a problem with you with balancing and equanimity and keeping everything uh, working properly? Yes. All right. How long have you been going through this? Uh, it's, uh, it's, I have one sort of whole part of my life that's devoted to having a multiply handicapped child who's in a medical group home. Okay. And then I have another part of dealing with disability and another part of being an organizer for several organizations. Okay, so are you presently now on disability? Yes. Okay, because it shows health problems here. Um, I also want to ask you, do you do a lot with meditation? Yes. Because the meditation for you calms you down. Yes. Now, your guides are also saying to me, I want to bring this up to you. Are you drinking a lot of water? Your body needs a lot of water. Probably need to drink more. You need to drink more water. Absolutely. Um, I am also going to say to you, you are highly intuitive. Are you using it? A uh, little bit, not a lot these days, because I'm alone by myself in a, you know, in a pandemic. So. Oh, because of the pandemic. I understand that. I'm going through this. I Zoom sing and do poetry all over the world. And occasionally I pick up something, but it's never the right time to share things. So. It sounds about, now, are you writing? Are you writing something? No, actually, for over a year, I haven't been able to use my writing hand very well. Because you have the ability to write. Yeah, I do. I do poetry and songs. Oh, you do poetry and songs? Yeah. Well, I'm being told by my guides, they're waiting to hear them because you're very gifted. Thank you. Very, very gifted. I do see you becoming, uh, no, uh, they're saying to me more, uh, more exposure. And they're also telling me, you're very detailed. You need to be detailed, but you need to be creative also. Correct? I need, I need, um, linear detail so I can understand things, but definitely for my expression, it's definitely creative. It's definitely creative. Well, you've got wonderful energy from God. You are very gifted, and I would love to see you use it. Okay? Yep. All right. There's a lot of people in here, so Absolutely. I move on, but I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Uh, there you are. I'm sorry for the delay, but I'm trying to get through everybody. All right, Tanzini. Is it Tanzina? Yes. All right, beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's see what is happening for you. And let me see, what city were you born in? Uh, I was born in Bangladesh. The city is Dhaka, D-H-A-K-A. -A. Okay, beautiful name for a city. Okay, and what is your date of birth? May 10th, 1966. May 10th of 1966. Yes. 
Where is all this wonderful energy? What, what time were you born? I think around 1 a.m. 1 o'clock a.m. Yes. Okay. Here we go. And let's see what shows here. Okay. Now for you, you've got, now I'm going to say this to you. You've got some wonderful, wonderful energy here. Now, um, they're saying two things to me. Well, more than two things. You're very nurturing. You're a very caring soul. You love everybody. Okay? So how are you using this wonderful energy of yours? Uh, well, I am a mother. And... Uh, I think I hadn't been using my nurturing part as much as I am now. Uh, now I'm teaching, I'm teaching art, and I'm also trying to work towards kind of help others heal. I recently went through a healing process myself. Okay. Now, are there any issues at all with around the stomach? Yeah. <laughs> oh, has this been healed? No. Oh, I right. do you know all of your stress goes to your stomach. Mm. You worry and you worry and you worry and you worry and you're worried about worrying. <laughs> <laughs> Does it sound familiar? Yep. <laughs> all right. Let me explain this to you from the spiritual plateau. You will conjure up things in your mind to obsess about. They're not going to happen. Mm. Not going to happen. Now, I am also going to ask you. You are, did you do you want to do anything in business, or do you primarily want to be uh, raise your children? And my children are raised in out of the nest. <laughs> so they're out of the um, nest. Okay. No, I have. I I did start my career with my own business. Then I've been working, like not in a business, like working, working uh, for the longest time. And now I'm on a transitional path and I am uh, planning on starting a business again. Because that's what I'm seeing in the near future. You will be starting your own business. You also are going to establish a name for yourself. I see you having a reputation. Uh, uh, sociology, I see you developing a, re a reputation for yourself. And they're saying to me, you love perfection. Things have to be a certain way because if they're not, it gets you all worked up. If things aren't perfect, you're not going to do it. Yeah, I'm kind of a perfectionist. You're a perfectionist. <laughs> ways that I'm trying to get out of. I admire you for that. I will. All right. Well, you're working on that, right? <laughs> you're working on that. You'll get there. Look, it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight. But you've got so many wonderful, wonderful qualities. Now, they're also telling me you can be very strong will when you want to be. Are you aware of that? Say that again. Can you be kind of strong-willed when you have to be? Um, yes. Okay. Does that work for you or against you? Um, usually against. Usually against. All right. <laughs> I want to say you have amazing energy. You were gifted from birth. Um, you're going to do amazing uh, things with your life. And... Um, they're actually showing me and telling me um, that you are, you, you, I, you're actually, you're growing and the growth is going to be even greater this year. I am also being told for you too, you need to drink more water for your body. <laughs> your body That's needs something also that I've been working on the past few weeks. And what's that? Drinking more water. All right, you have to, because that's releasing all the toxins in your body. 
Mm-hmm. You've got to get rid of these toxins. Otherwise, they build up and then you start feeling sluggish and start feeling sick. So I want you to drink more water and drink juices. Okay. And stop the worrying because you don't want to bring negativity in your life. You're wonderful. You're in the image, image and likeness of God and God is perfect. So your, your true essence is you are absolutely perfect. (laughs) Thank you. Okay. So I don't, I think we're running out of time. I'm trying to do the best I can here. Um, I have to go on, but it was a pleasure reading for you, and you're a wondrous soul. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Is Donna there? Okay, Christopher. I guess. Donna's here, but you already spoke to me. Oh, I spoke to you. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, you missed me already. I miss you already. We have to meet up again sometime. I, I think I would like that. Okay, I'm going to try and keep in contact. All right, take care, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Oh, Karen. Would you like a, a mini session? Sure. Okay, there you are. <laughs> okay. God, I have so many gifted people tonight. All right. Uh, what is your, what city were you born in? Holyoke. Holyoke, Mass. H-O. Oh, I know that. Holyoke, Mass. Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay. And what is your date of birth? July 20th, 1960. July of 1960. And do you know what time you were born? I'm not sure. I think it was like two, three in the morning, but I'm not, I'm not real sure. Okay. Let's see here. In the morning. Let's see what wonderful things we have in store for you. Okay. You are also... Now, let me ask you this. Over the past couple of years, two years, have you been going through a lot of changes emotionally with emotionally and also with work at all? Um, yeah, somewhat. S- somewhat? Okay, because in your, wow, you, let me explain this to you. You, um, you have different interests. You have many different interests, is that correct? Mm-hmm. All right. It's not one thing that you're interested in. You're interested in a lot of different things. Yes. All right. Now, are you going through what I would consider, um, I see you going through spiritual changes, but I'm also going to say to you, you are very sensitive. There shows a lot of sensitivity with you in your chart. You're sensitive, but you're also very strong-willed. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're you're pretty much trying to balance those things out. Now, with you, are you in the are you in healing, helping? What profession uh, type of profession are you in? I'm an occupational therapist. All right, that's what I was. Saying. Yeah, healing and helping. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Are, are you are you happy being in that area? Yes, very much. All right. I see expansion coming up to you. Now, do you work for yourself? Or are you working for, do you work with others? Or, or, do you this, do you have your own practice? No. All right, did you want to have your own practice? No. <laughs> no? Okay. Because I'm, they're telling me there's financial changes coming up for you for the better. And they're saying for the better. They're also talking to me. I don't know why they're saying this. Are you doing anything around education or because they're they're telling me they want you to talk about what you do. They want you to train people and teach people. Do you do anything like that? Excuse me, Peter. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Sure. We just thank you so kindly for your amazing presence on our stage tonight. 
we're going to turn the platform over to Joe. But if you want to join Peter, Peter, what room are you in? 222. 222. Anyone join Peter, especially the person he's last been interacting with, join him in room 222. 222. 